Good morning, Eagle Nation. I'm Cameron. It's Wednesday, February 3rd. Good morning. I'm Sadie. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday today, Wednesday the 3rd, to 6th grader Eva Anderson. Happy birthday tomorrow, Thursday the 4th, to senior Ariana Allen. Congratulations to senior Ben Jordan, who achieved the rank of Eagle in his Boy Scout troop this week. Ben restored the trail behind the track and built a, and built a kiosk to hold a trail map. You can see a couple pictures of Ben and his crew on eaglesmediacenter.com. Well done, Ben. The Galway FFA Strawberry Fundraiser is back. You can get eight containers of delicious strawberries for only $26. Four containers are only $14. Your money needs to be in by Wednesday the 10th, and the strawberries will be delivered during the week of March 8th. You can order from any FFA member like Addie Ross, Hannah French, or Isabella Hart. Thank you for your support. Attention sophomores, it's time to make your schedules for your junior year. Please email Ms. Mork or stop in guidance to make your appointment. The Social Studies Department is sponsoring the Black History Month poster contest. The top three winners will earn Amazon gift cards. Go to EagleMediaCenter.com for more information. You can also see Mr. McGowan for poster ideas and other info about the contest. Attention Junior Boys. The Boys State Leadership Program sponsored by the American Legion is now accepting applications. It will take place virtually from June 27th to July 1st through two two-hour online sessions each day. Applications are available at the guidance office. Today, we would like to welcome to the broadcast senior Michelle Sherman. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We understand that you are in the CEIP program at school. Could you explain what the program is? The CEIP program at school is where students can explore future careers under the guidance of mentors. It's a challenging yet very rewarding experience. I saw the article you wrote for EMC about being an intern for Ms. Decker and the Junior High Eagles Media Center staff. As an intern in the program, what do you have to do to get credit for the CEIP time? Depending on who or where you're interning, under the credit will be different. For example, I, under, I intern under Mrs. Decker for EMC. I edit and create articles. I also come up with lesson plans to encourage the junior high students to partake in more articles. Although to officially get the credit for CIP for Mrs. Sitz, you have to keep track of the number of hours you collect, as well as keep a journal for the, your experiences as an intern. How do you think this internship is preparing you for college? Interning under Mrs. Decker has definitely prepared me for college. It gave me a chance to see whether this was something I truly wanted to pursue in college, which it did. Students are in the process of making schedules for next year. What would you say to someone who might be considering adding an internship to their class schedule? I highly recommend adding an internship to your class schedule. It's an amazing experience. Although I won't lie, the first couple of days can be a little scary, but the more time and energy you put into it, the more it becomes the highlight of your day. I've always been very shy when it comes to my writing, but since I've started the internship, I've become more proud. I'm thankful for Mrs. Sitz recommending CIP to me. Honestly, I've never been happier. Oh, and in case you're interested in writing, uh oh, in case you're not interested in writing, there are multiple other internship opportunities. For instance, my friend Ari interns under Mrs. Mearswell for art. And in the past, Mrs. Sitz has mentioned a former student who would go off campus for nursing. So there are many options. If students have more questions about the CAIP program, who can they contact? Uh, they can talk to me or Mrs. Sitz. Thank you so much for coming on and explaining this great opportunity for students right in our district. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. If you have something you would like us to announce on GTV, please email Mrs. O at kbostrand at gowaycsd.org. We would love to hear about your good news and share it with Eagle Nation. Have a great day. We will see you on Friday.